I am native of the East End. I grew up, my neighborhood still is predominantly black, was when I was growing up. So we combating all types of um, stereotypes here. I think Richmond is a great place. I do think it has its warts, it has its challenges. So I currently serve here as pastor of the Mount Carmel Baptist Church. The congregation has been around for 135 years this year and is really steeped in you know, some of the civil rights tradition of our city and the assets to making the city be the best that it could be. Particularly on the East End, there's a lot that needs to be done in terms of violence that's happening for our kids, being able to support them, whether it's at school and support their families um, so that they can process what's going on. But also there's a need for there to be some preventative action. It's not just one person's responsibility to be present for a child. It's all of us together. No person lives on the island. A child definitely does not. And for a lot of these students, they don't have somebody to talk to at home. And so me just being there and listening, even if there's nothing that I can do to fix the situation that's going on at home, just being there and doing active listening, which is something that, you know, sounds super easy, but a lot of these clients really just don't have that. They don't have that person. So I think it's very necessary. It's, it's a very much needed service. I'm watching you, I'm paying attention to you. I'm dedicated and devoting all of my attention to you in this moment. So in being present, one, and in being present with them, that's what it's about. But having clients tell me that they trust me and that me just being there for them, even though I can't fix their situation, means the world to them. Sometimes we can get into a mode of wanting to fix things and make things right. Um, and sometimes what is needed is for us just to show up. Yes, there's a lot of strategy and therapy and study and research and all of that that goes into the work that the Child Savers does. But really, it's about the power of presence. It's about letting people know that there is someone who will show up for you. The, the work that it takes for children, for adults to get to their best selves, it takes everybody. It takes faith communities, it takes organizations like Child Savers, definitely takes healthcare professionals, you know, like we have a Sentara, to be a part of that process of being um, spiritually, physically, emotionally, mentally, relationally healthy. Uh, and that's the goal.